This family has two children who were going into their teens, and so like most clients we have, they are at a stage where they need their own space and they need to get out of their parents' space. When I first saw the basement, I thought two things. That is a lot of built-ins. And coming from someone who loves built-ins, that's saying a lot. So I thought, how are we gonna fill all those? But also I saw so much potential. There's so much space to work with down here and it was really an opportunity that we looked forward to taking on. I love that Kirsten and Brett have a very comfortable aesthetic. They like a little bit of tradition, but they also wanted an update. So that fit very much with what we like to do. When you first come down the stairs, you're met with a very large rec room, entertainment room, and an existing bar. We didn't do too much to the bar. I actually liked how warm it was. We really just accessorized it. That's all it needed, and some new stools that swivel so you can enjoy the rest of the room. The first thing I saw when I walked into this basement was a giant drum set that was the focal point in front of an unused fireplace. So we knew that had to change, and we thought two comfortable chairs that can be pulled up into whatever area you need them to be, or you can just sit there and enjoy the fire. It's an unusually shaped basement. We had to work around the post for the sectional, so that kind of determined the size and the orientation. And of course, there's only one large wall to work with for a big projector that comes down from the ceiling. A nice round ottoman is always great for putting up your feet and not having corners to bump into. And you can never have enough swivel chairs, in my opinion. This one can face the movie or it can face the conversation. Once we got the sectional in there, we found that we had this extra space behind and that was the perfect spot to put the games table. Built-ins are a double-edged sword. I love them in the right use, but they actually have to be purposeful. If you have too many shelves, that means a lot of stuff to go on them. These were already existing, we weren't about to rip them out, but we did have a challenge ahead of us in order to fill them and make them look good and not crazy busy. I even forget that there's a secret door in these built-ins. It leads to a electrical room, I think. You gotta see it to believe it. You wouldn't even know it is there. When you leave this entertainment area, you have a great homework area on the right, which we left as is and just accessorized. But what we did with the other spaces is we flipped them. We had a kid's room that was Lego central and we had a very sad office. So we thought if we flip these, it's the perfect place to have the kids area and then the craft room right behind and then the office can be nice and quiet. Their kids, Matt and Laura, are now 16 and 12. So Lego is a little bit behind them, although they have some favorite pieces we wanted to display. We knew they needed more of a hangout, place to play video games, place to hang out with their friends, watch TV separate from their parents and just get away. Oh, and also house the drums. I love this craft room. We actually built this with Ikea, we customized it. There's a lot of storage in here and I knew it would be great to have some display. I mean, I love to see ribbons out and wrapping paper out and twine and all the things you need every day. And then we found this wallpaper. The wallpaper was really the finishing touch that we needed. It's bright and vibrant and happy. I love the pink and the aqua and we had fun with that in the lighting and the accessories. For the office, we wanted something a little more masculine because it doesn't have any natural light. So I thought, why don't we play up these deep tones, make it a little bit Mad Men-esque. I saw a really big desk and not actually a conventional desk. I was thinking dining room table from the start. I also knew that this would be a great place to put some purposeful built-ins, both with storage and some display, some really cool lighting, and just a great place to keep the printer and all the things you need in an actual working office. We get a lot of requests to do basements, and I think it's for good reason. I mean, it's a lot of space, and it's a great place to hang out if it's done well. The key to doing a basement well is keep it light and bright, but warm. Nobody wants to feel like they're going down to a cold basement. Even if it is cold, you can make it feel cozy with carpets and throws, great comfortable furniture. Really don't skimp out down there. It makes so much difference. Everyone we do, they always say we use it all the time. Mm -hmm.